Hello everyone, welcome to Asked and Answered with Aram Michal. I'm Aram, the CERN's team lead at Ascend Realty. Today I have with me Elizabeth Wright, the founder of Networking Works. She has over 30 years of experience with business to business sales marketing, uh, image consulting, team building, training and management, and event planning. Elizabeth, thank you so much for chatting with me today. Now, Networking Works has been around for about 16 years. Um, you've grown your company to over 600 members, and I think you've like 60,000 some odd referrals, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, so can you tell me a little bit more about that? What made you start Networking Works? Well, thank you for having me, Aram, and um, thank you for asking. Um, I love networking, and um, had, had done that with another company, and then had, done, had just been a member with another group. I worked with a career coach and she was, why are you not doing this? <laughs> because I so obviously wanted to do it. And, um, that was it. It was like, okay, you know, gloves off. And, um, I love connecting people and businesses. I'm a very social person and, um, I love the interaction. And like you mentioned with your business, I love the diversity, men, women. It's just so much fun. And we learn so much from each other. Definitely. Now, so you said you, you're naturally an outgoing person. You love building relationships. Were you always a networker though? No, as a matter of fact, when, when I was younger, I was very shy and through, you know, a lot of ballet and choral music and <laughs> performing, um, that really helped a lot, but I was in sales mostly. I've done, um, retail and wholesale and, um, I like them both, but once you realize you can be in business for yourself, it's, it's that switch goes off and that's it, you know? Yeah. I, that's what I joke around with that. You know, um, when I started my real estate business, uh, I'm just not wired to work for someone else. <laughs> <laughs> so now tell me, do you have like, everyone has like a guiding, like sense that something that guides them. Like, do you have a motto or something that you go by when it comes to your business? I do. And I say this keeps me out of trouble. Um, <laughs> I love to under promise and over deliver instead of somebody saying, Oh, Elizabeth, you said you were going to do this and you didn't to say, Oh, wow. Well, I didn't know you were going to do that for me. Um, I'm in a much happier place <laughs> if, if I can surprise people with, with an extra benefit or, you know, advertising or promotion or um, even just following up on something for them or with them. Um, mm -hmm. That makes me feel really good. And I think it kind of speaks to your authenticity, right? It's, you're, you know, you're not, like you said, you've worked in sales and stuff, but you're not like, you're not giving a sales pitch. You're, you genuinely care about your members. You want them to succeed. I, I've, you know, known you for a while now and uh, you've kept in touch with me even when I was like, you know, in between when I had uh, stuff going on, when I went into teaching and uh, took mm -hmm. a step back from business. You, you know, you didn't just forget about me. You kept in touch with me and that mm -hmm. speaks to, a lot to your character. Um, so tell me, um, people who want to get involved, like as far as your meetings and stuff, um, are they online? Are they in person? Like how often do you guys meet? Well, um, we're not as advanced as you. We're not doing zoom meetings yet, but we <laughs> maybe in the future, but, uh, obviously with the pandemic that, took us down from our weekly meetings for a while. But like you said, I kept in touch with everybody, mm -hmm. kept promoting and just had to wait for the sign to, you know, when it's time to go back to weekly meetings. And we did that and we've been meeting for a few weeks now in a restaurant where you can um, have a mask or not. They're doing the social distancing like all the other restaurants. And, and that's been a lot of fun because I literally missed my members so much uh, when we were at home. Um, so that's been fun to get out and with caution, okay. of course. And then for people who might, we might not be geographically desirable era. We have an online business directory, which we are promoting. So as you know, we network with over 13,000 people. Those are all opt ins. That is no me putting you on a list that you didn't want to be on. Yeah. Um, so um, if you don't mind, that kind of leads to another question that might be coming up. We love connecting with people on Facebook, LinkedIn, Alignable, some Twitter, um, and Instagram is just pretty fun. 
also Pinterest. We have a board on Pinterest. So you can kind of take your hobbies and your business and put them together, right? Yeah, definitely. So that's a lot of fun too. Yeah, and especially nowadays, it's all about social media. Um, you know, that's why we're here doing a Zoom meeting rather than meeting in person. Mm -hmm. um, so you did mention your network um, of the opt-in. Um, remind me again, um, how many members, how many people do you have in your network? Um, over 13,000. There are a few of those that overlap where I may be connected with you on Facebook and LinkedIn, but that's not a bad thing because you know when you're putting out a message or an update, somebody might miss it over here and then pick up on it over there. Exactly. So um, that's that's a lot of fun. I know I work that way too. I might miss something one place and see it another. Definitely, definitely. Now at your meetings, you said it's weekly, every week. Um, is it the same time, same day every week? Yes. Um, we have had many teams in the past and um, right now we do have one that, that meets weekly plus we used to call it the web team but it's just recently changed to the business directory so that people can participate but we have one hour weekly meetings and um, we have members that will come to that meeting and then usually we have guests at every meeting hopefully eventually they join if it's a good fit for them and like you alluded to before you're I'm not pushy. If it's a oh, good no. fit, it is. If you try to push sales or it doesn't work. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, now what so we like a simple four like, part agenda and we're done in an hour. And I think people appreciate that as well. So for a guest who's going to come to the meeting, what can they expect to see? Like, what do you guys actually do? After we use a four part agenda. We start with announcements. We do infomercials, including the guests and everything because in my research, guests were not always included in everything in some different meetings. Um, some even had like a black ball system. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's not the way to treat people. Um, so after a lot of research, we, we came to that so uh, they can participate in um, everything, really. And then we have a member pre-scheduled to do a seven minute presentation or sometimes training. Sometimes I'll ask them to do a training or I'll throw in a training there if, if we need to. And um, then we actually explain our lead process, which is different um, than some other groups so that everybody's comfortable. And then we actually pass referrals, um, no quota or minimum on referrals because then people make things up and those are not the referrals that we want. Yeah, we want so, good quality. Yeah, and then we encourage them to follow up or give them any added information that they need after the meeting. Um, um, now, if someone who's watching this right now, um, th they have their own small business or you know they're looking to uh, network and do uh, get more leads and referrals, how, how can they reach you? Like what's the best way for them to reach out to you? if they want to check out Networking Works. Mm, thank you for asking. Um, probably the best platform, um, I'll give you my contact info, but really Facebook because our invitations are there and we encourage when we're inviting people from other social networks, we're like the best place to check on the meeting is the Facebook invitation. So you will see them other places, um, but if those RSVPs go there too, so of course, to um, connect on Facebook, um, I wanna connect with anybody that's interested in networking works. And um, then a good way to get me is my email, which is etright at mindspring.com. Okay, and we'll and add the links, um, we'll add your email and the yes. link to the Facebook page um, in the description of the video. Thank you. All right, well, thank you so much for chatting with me again, Elizabeth. Um, it was so much fun catching up. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you get notifications. That way you don't miss out on any of these videos. Um, and thanks again to our guest, Elizabeth, for being here with us today. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.